Welcome to my series of tech tutorials to help you edit your website template. And the first template tutorial that I'm going to share with you is going to be focused on how to add your own branding to one of my templates. So how can we add in your logo if you have a logo? How can you add in your business name if you don't have a logo? How can you add in your font? Or if you don't have a font, how can you just change the fonts? So let's get started. Um, by the way, I'm going to delve into colours in a different video. So just check the playlist if you'd prefer to skip to that one. Um, but what we're going to do is, what you're going to do is open up your website template and then just press edit, which is right here. And we're going to go straight into the site title. So what you want to do is hover on this top bit here. Depending on what template you've purchased, obviously it might be a little bit different, but you're going to want to hover on the header, which is the section with the site, the template name, and then the navigation links. So it will come up with a button that says edit site header. Click on that and it's going to bring up a menu that looks like this. So what you can see, we've got the global icon, we've got desktop and we've got a phone symbol. When editing any of the templates, I just want to use this this moment here to remind you to look at your mobile view and when you're updating things, don't forget to also update on mobile and you literally do that just by switching to mobile view right there. Okay, so now anyway, let's get back into it. What I want you to do is literally you'll be in the global settings and I want you to click on site title and logo. So for all of my templates, I have not used a logo. Um, I've just used a site title. So for this one, it's a dog walking template and I've called it Not Quite 101 Dalmatians um, because I just felt like they wouldn't be able to walk 101 Dalmatians at once. Um, like in the movie, not like in the movie. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough of, enough of my explanations. What you wanna do then is if you have a logo, well, regardless of if you have a logo, to be honest, you want to write in your site title because it is what comes up here. So any text that you put in the site title is going to be what appears in your browser tab. Um, so you want to make a good first impression. So type it in here. So your business might be called Hi Jane. Don't know why that's come into my head, but it has. And then it's changed. See, um, but if you have a logo, what you want to do is just press add logo and then upload the file. You want to add it as a PNG and make sure that it has a transparent background. Um, on this particular template, you might want a white logo if you're going to keep the colours the same. Um, but of course, it's up to you to have a play, honestly. Um, and then you might want to also upload a separate logo for your mobile. However, you don't have to. Um, it will show up on both if you just put one in the normal logo image. So now that that's done, what you'll want to do is go to desktop. And then if you scroll down, you can change it. So if you've got a logo in there, it might throw off the sizing, for example. So you might want to change the vertical padding. So I've got it on the smallest because I wanted it to be a really small header, but you might want to make it bigger and you literally just slide these across. Um, what you can also do is go to header layout and you can play with how it looks. So if, it, if you think it looks weird, you can change it and you can choose a slightly different design for the header using these um, pre-made headers, which is really useful. Um, and then for mobile, once you go to mobile, you can do the same. So if you go to header layout, again, you can actually switch it around, which is awesome. It should have like the same spacing as on mobile, but you can change the link spacing there for mobile view in the header. Um, the other options for your header navigation, you can add in elements. So if you want to brand it up even more with your social links, you just click on the tab 
and then you could edit your social links for example um and add them in change the size you can add a car although this template doesn't have a shop so there's no point um, but you can always add one in um, or you can add a button so you've got options perfect okay so now that I've shown you kind of how to add your logo in the header what I'm going to do is go down to the footer so what you do is hover over the footer again like you did on the header and press edit footer and in this case it's a bit different so this is just a text box so all that you do if you if you just want to use the text just again type in your business name you'll also want to make sure this information is correct so whatever it says in the footer um, just update it, update the address, the email address um, if it's got a number in there any social links, get them updated you just hover again, hover on it and it'll do it on this particular one we've got a nice newsletter so you can press the edit button and make sure that it goes to your email by pressing storage and then you click Squarespace email campaigns and it will come they will come through to you anyway but it's more if you've got um like a MailChimp or something like that you can link it up through other storage options um if not it would just be stored in Squarespace um you might also not want this to be text so what you could do is just delete it it's going to bring all of it up but then you can pull it down because it's just a drag and drop interface which is fab and then what you can do is um here it says add section click on it and it, oh no sorry false alarm <laughs> where's the button hmm it's not coming up oh there it is it's hidden under me that's why okay so you want to press add block that's it and then you can press image and then you can drag it over and you can make it smaller and pop it above and pull this down or use your buttons on your um, keyboard pull it down and you can add your logo in there if you'd rather um, have a logo rather than the text okay so now that we've done that I'm not going to save it because this is the actual template file um, I'm going to quickly show you how to change the font so if you're not a fan of this font or any of the fonts that I've used on across the templates what you do is go to design in the menu let's pull me back down and you press on site styles so this is going to bring up another menu but now it's on the right hand side of the page and what you're going to want to do is press fonts so with Squarespace, something that you can't yet do is upload your own custom font within this system. If you want to use a custom font on your website, this is something that's going to need to be coded in. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you how to code it in. I'm going to leave a tutorial linked below this video that you can follow that somebody else has written. Um, but if you'd prefer me to do it for you, just give me a message and I can send you my rate and then... I can do it on an hourly basis and I can get that added in for you um, just let me know but they also before you go to upload a custom font anyway they might already have your font within their collection um, so definitely take a look what you can do is I've just set this up using a font pack so it automatically populates the headings and paragraphs and buttons and miscellaneous things to all match and I recommend that you do this um, especially if you don't have custom fonts already so what you want to do is literally so here in fonts it says font pack and then there's a little button called switch and this is just above the base size option so what you want to do is press switch and then it's got all of their packs so you can go through the sans serif the serif or the mixed pack this particular template I used a mix pack because I didn't want it to I well I knew that I kind of wanted like a um a serif font for the title and then I wanted a sans serif for the body but I didn't want to sit and try and brand it up myself so it's really really convenient and look they have so many new ones um so you can just have a scroll down and see what they've got. So I chose this one, which is Swear Display Salati. And then I think that font is Montessarat, the body font. Um, 
but yeah you can literally like scroll through you can click on them and it will change it all for you and you can test them out of course if you don't like them if you've clicked on one you don't like it you can just click on other ones and try it if you don't like any of them just refresh the page as long as you've not changed anything and it won't save um so that it will go back to what it was um although i've just said what it was so you can click on it in the list um and you can also search which is great um so this is one option is just going through them the other option would be to go in to your global textiles so you can go to headings and then you can change all of the heading font family so you just click on family and then you can press browse all fonts and then you can literally pick it from the list yeah so the body text was Montserrat Mont Montserrat I'm awful with pronunciation of things <laughs> um but yeah there's a massive list so you can go through it this way instead if you would prefer and then you can of course do the same for the paragraph style so within the actual fonts set like settings for the headings what is great is that you can change the weight which would be like the boldness um of each font so this is on 700 because it's a heading but you can change it you can change the style on some fonts you can change the style you can change the line height so if you want more of a space in between each height, like line um you can change the letter spacing if you want more space between each letter you can text transform it so if you want all headings to have an uppercase a lowercase to be capitalized or just none if you just want to type it in and it be how you type it then none which is what i've done and then what you can also do is change the heading size so each heading will have be called a different heading. So you want to do this for SEO. You want to have a, a heading one, a heading two, a heading three, and a heading four. Um, if you don't have four headings, then you don't need to use all of them tags, um, but you do it in a hierarchy. Um, but perhaps that's something I can talk about in the future. Um, for now, just go to my magazine, actually, at highflyingdesign.com slash blog, and I've got a piece, actually, about SEO. Um, so definitely take a read if you want to learn more about that. I will link it below um but yeah so you can change the font size just by like dragging it along these are the current fonts in case you forget what they were i think you can also undo it as well which is fab um in case you mess it up but that's only if you don't save it i'm pretty sure and then yeah so you can go back and then you, you have all the same settings for your paragraphs we can also change buttons so You've got a primary button, a secondary button, and a a, ter a territory button. And it's just so that you can have three different button designs, which is great. In the past, this wasn't a thing, and all buttons had to be the same unless you custom coded them, which is a bit of a nightmare. So this is great. You can play with it. You can play with the fonts, the weight, the style, the size. So this is obviously for the fonts of the buttons. While I'm here, I might as well show you how to actually edit the buttons. So if we go back to site styles and you just go to buttons and as you can see again you've got the same settings you don't have to go into fonts to change the button and font style you'd go into text and then it's there but on the buttons you can change the shape so let me find a button for you this is a button I haven't used too many buttons on this template but as you can see it's just a square if you can change it to an oval Sorry, my laptop is a little bit slow. Please bear with it in this tutorial. So you can change it to that. That's kind of cute and fitting to this design. Um, this one's cute. It reminds me of like, I don't know. It's very floral to me. I don't know why. Mm. Very naturey. Um, we can have it so that it's more like a peel. Some rounded corners. A slightly different button. Um, you know, there's lots of options. You can change it so that. There's not a feel if you just want an outline um, and that kind of thing. But I'm just going to leave it how it is. But there's lots of options. You can also change um, the spacing after, out, on the outside of the text and also above and below it, which is fab. Um, and then you can make three different buttons, as I said. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how you would brand it up. 
I'm not going to go through colours within this video because it has just reached the 15 minute mark and what I'm going to do is do that in a separate tutorial so if you're not someone who just wants to delve into Squarespace and experiment if you want to follow the instruction guide um, please visit that video next um, and it will help you but yeah hopefully this has helped you so far again like I said if you want to reach out to me that's fine I'll get back to you as soon as I can with any questions anything I might have missed um, but yeah that's all for now I will see you in my next one bye